Google Classroom can really help you with communicating with parents and families. This video will teach you how to use Guardian Summaries and get Google Classroom to do it all for you. When you open up Google Classroom under the People feature on the right, this is where it will show all of your students and you will have the option to invite guardians. When you click on that, you'll just need to copy and paste the emails or type in the emails of any of the parents or guardians of your students. And then it will send an email to them that will look like this. And it will give them the option to accept as a guardian in the, your Google Classroom. It's a good idea to send an email before you send the guardian email so that they know it's coming and what it means to be a guardian in Google Classroom. And it'll prompt them to accept one more time. And then they can choose the frequency that they get guardian summaries. They can either get weekly, daily, or they can get no summaries at all, but still be a guardian so that you can email them through Google Classroom. And then they can click learn more. And this is a really nice resource. There are a lot of information here from Google on what the Google Classroom email summaries are. And there's an example that shows what comes in an email summary that they get missing work, they get a review of the assignments from that week, and they get the class activity for all of the Google Classrooms that, that their student is a part of. So you can see here that the example, the student is in three classes and it shows all of the assignments and the pieces that have been posted during that week in their Google Classrooms. So this is a really nice resource for the parents. You can email the guardians directly through Google Classroom. And you can email all guardians as well by clicking that. And then you can remove guardians, but it will prompt you that if you do click this, it will remove that guardian from that student across Google Classroom, not just in your class. So you have to be sure that that parent really wants to be removed from Google Classroom. You can invite students and co-teachers as well as guardians on the people page. In the settings is where you'll turn on guardian summaries. You can click see example to look at the teacher side of the more information page that Google makes, where you can see that example of what a guardian summary looks like and have some more information. So you do need to make sure that that is turned on so that the guardian summaries will automatically go out after you invite guardians to your Google Classroom. Don't forget to subscribe to the EdTech Team YouTube channel right here and check out the next video in our playlist.